ஓம் ஸ்ரீ கணேஷாய நமகம் ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சரஸ்வத்தியை நமகம் ஓம் ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமகம் ஓம் சமஸ்த ஜன கல்யாணே நிரதம் கருணாமயம் நமாமி சின்மயம் தேவம் சத்குரும் பிரம்ம விவரம் ஹரி ஓம் தி ஃபஸ்ட் டாபிக் ஆஃப் வேதாந்த இஸ் ஷிஷ்ய லட்சணஸ் qualifications of the student the very word shishya means the one who is ready to learn to be disciplined to be instructed that called shishya how does one become shishya first of all the desire for knowledge must arise in the mind and that has to be strong then he becomes a good seeker then only later on can become a shishya immediately cannot happen so first what is necessary is that desire for knowledge must arise how does it arise that is a purvarjitena punyena very human life itself is a result of many many merits of earlier lives but in that human life to have that desire for knowledge jayate tatva jignasa that tatva jignasa arises it is because of merits of many lives and coupled with sarvesha anugraha the blessings and grace of the lord these two factors are always set there and therefore when that desire for knowledge has risen then that person must continue that one so the effort sadhan and always invoke god's grace now in some persons it may rise in the form of desire for knowledge in some person prithir yasya paratmani love for god arises it is strange ha huh? that love for god prema we don't know how it arises that this prithi ha huh? or jignasa they both of them are the results of purva karma only as you see all people are there and we find in one family itself some child is very special ha huh? whether male child or female child other so siblings may be there but all of them don't get it even the parents are same family is also same so but it must have some reason some cause and that is that jeevas punya karma and ishwar anugraha jayate tat tatva jignasa prithir yasya paratmani sache krupa patrasya evayam that person is really a krupa patra krupa patra lucky person Hmm. fit receptacle for the krupa he has already received and then he will go forward the word patra also is very interesting in sanskrit any patra a cup a glass a pot also called patra patra means a yogya person also called patra 
एंड दि मीनिंग ऑफ पते पतनात्रायते पात्र वाट इज अ पात्र ए वेसल और ए ग्लास वेन यू पुट सम वाटर मिल्क इट सेव दैट मिल्क फ्रॉम स्पीलिंग और फॉलिंग डाउन नो इट प्रोटेक्ट्स द कॉल पात्र now when this person has become such a receptacle of the grace of bhagwan so he is yogya that grace will protect him and because of that grace only he will move forward and not fall in this samsara kripa patra sa evayam such a person is really blessed indeed he is who has received this his own punya karma and also god's grace then such a person will have that longing for knowledge and then his search will be for a teacher who can teach him in the beginning a person always tries to understand things whatever possible with his own intellect you know by reading books or attending satsang or by own his own intellection and all that but then person realizes naisha tarkena matirapaneya this knowledge cannot be gained only gained by only reasoning and intellections and logic and this alone ha huh? so i must find a right person to teach and isn't it for any kind of field of knowledge a teacher's guidance is a must you see even somebody has got a master's degree and that person wants to do get a doctorate degree even that person also needs a guide huh? so therefore what happens that persons now search is for someone who can teach and do you know you cannot go on doing guru hunting ha huh? and i am going to go everywhere and find out who is teacher who is how what that's why bhagwan shankaracharya ji said ha huh? atme chha vyavasiyata your job is to intensify your longing for knowledge which is already reason ha huh? now when you want that knowledge only then there is in economics there is called demand and supply and when your demand is very very genuine intense and strong you will find a guru whether you meet that guru guru comes to you i think guru shishya meeting is always a miracle you call or a mystery you call you never know how it happens or the person may go here there everywhere but what will happen we never know then when that person is lucky to get find that guru gurum seveta bhakti taha then that person must now serve that teacher and that serving must be with full faith devotion and the only purpose of gaining this knowledge from that teacher bhakti purvak seva is important ha bhavet tenaiva yogyascha sadhana abhyasa tatparah then पुण्य कर्म भगवान ग्रेस गुरु प्राप्ति हाँ एंड देन गुरु सेवा विद ऑल दैट दैट पर्सन बिकम्स योग्य फिट स्टूडेंट साधना अभ्यास तत्पर हा एंड तत्पर मीन्स एवर रेडी रेडी टू डू एनी काइंड साधन अभ्यास दैट इज गिवन बाय द टीचर what our abhyas see tatpara what is very interesting what tatpara mean ready ever ready 
how this is to be done? Yes. And Tatprami Tasmin Paraha. Tadeva Param Tatpam. That what Guru has said now, this is to be done. That is the supreme thing. I have to do it. That's called Tatpam. Huh? Because now my Param Lakshya is that, and this is a sadhana pointed out, and I will do no laziness about that thing. No laziness. Then only becomes a yogya, then become fit student. Huh? So first because of punya grace, the desire arises for knowledge or love for God that arises. Then guru prapti also happens. And then sadhana bhyasa tatparaha. Acha, now a question arises, what is this sadhana? that which is for Vedanta, you know, that which is required. So the Shastra only says, uh, simple thing is, if you gone to Guru and he has said, you know, then that is enough. Huh? Just follow that. I remember when I had come, as I had come here, I had asked one question only to Gurudev. He had answered. And do you know what he's saying? Now you have come for learning here, no? Now you don't have to ask anything. You don't have to ask. Only just what is trying to use the study, that, that's all. Interesting. What is that? That is said in the Shastra also. After all, the Veda, the Shastra, the purpose is that only they will tell you what you have to do. And what is said, you must do it. So, what are those sadhanas? Sadhan means what? A means. A means is always there to reach a goal. In the Subodh Vedanta, we will have a separate. Chapter only on Sadhan Sadhya Vivek. Hmm. We'll come to that. So one is called Sadhan and the called Sadhya. Sadhya means the goal to be achieved. And Sadhya is the means. So means and the goal. Now for different kinds of goals, different sadhanas also pointed out. What are they said? It is in the Vedanta Shastra. Hmm. So here, in this shloka, now you know in this both Vedanta, what has happened, this shloka is not number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What I heard, a topic, and on that topic there are 2, 3 shlokas are there. So the numbering will be little, uh, every topic with the number will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, like that. Huh? But here for, uh, like invocation, only 2 shlokas are there. Now for this year, three shlokas are there uh, about the yogya student. Now see, shloka number three. Other it will be number five, okay? If you continue see it. Viveka digunai ryuktaha. Viveka digunai ryuktaha. Tivraya chamu mukshaya. Tivraya chamu mukshaya. Ayame Votama Shisho Ayame Votama Shisho Muktasyat Itinishitam Muktasyat Itinishitam Now when you go to the Guru, Guru will tell him what are sadhan. Adi Vedanta Shastra Granthas are there. Huh? A Tatva Bodhi is there, Atma Bodhi is there, Viveka Shudamani is there and all that. They are really pointed out sadhan chatushtai. Fourfold qualifications are pointed out. He says, vivekadi gunai ryuktaha. That the student uh, endowed with all the vivekadi guna. Remember, certain qualities may be there in that student. Because of earlier punya, grace, satsang, own studies, and so many things. 
But you know, every time a fine tuning is required. Hmm? That's what is important. That's why Bhagavan Shankaracharya said, Sadhanani Chattvari Kathitani. The fourfold qualifications are pointed out, which we'll see. If they are there in good amount, then that person not only will gain that knowledge, but also will get firm abidance in that knowledge. Therefore, these sadhanas which are pointed out, they are in the form of virtues. They are in the form of our intellectual capabilities. Huh? There it is there. What? Vivekadi Gune Ryuktaha. That person who is endowed with Viveka, etc. A begin or a Vivekadi means beginning with Viveka. We'll see what is there. Number one. Then Tivrayacha Mumukshaya. And endowed with intense longing for liberation. Mumuksha means desire for liberation. See. Whatever person does, yadyadhi kurute kinjit tat tat kamasya cheshtitam. Everything a person does, the motivating force is always desire. Whether you have desire for a worldly enjoyment or worldly success in a given field, that desire has to be there. You see, there are many people who get addicted to smoking, drinking, and all kinds of you know, wrong habits and all that. Are how to come out of it? See, first important thing is, do you want to come out of that or not? <laughs> See, there are so many health groups are also there. Consultants are there. So many are there who can help you. But you must have desire first. If you yourself are not ready and willing, oh, what, what is going on? Therefore, you know, the starting point is mumuksha only. Because only desire is there, then only you can do anything. So the person who has seen, or what kind of life I am living, this is not what is that done. That feeling must come. Thereafter, so many things can happen, but that person doesn't have any, any desire only. <laughs> Once one young couple came, married couple, and they had some problem. Uh, they came for advice. I asked, do you really want this marriage to work? Both of them did not say anything. So I said, what else we can do? Huh? You come for advice, but the first of all, you must have that feeling that we want this to succeed. Anything it can be. It can be addiction. Huh? It can be how you are living that life and all that. Therefore, what he said is, whatever person does, it's always prompted or inspired, motivated by desire. Then only all other things come. Therefore, that in Mumukshi Tivra intense. Not very casual. Oh, I will see if it's good. Oh. Nothing will happen. Viveka, etc. Tivra Mumukshuta. I am Evotama Shishaha. Then the one who has got all this. Then that person is Uttama Shishya, best student. Uh, why do you say best student? Because Mukta Syad iti nishidam. Then it definitely, uh, he will gain moksha. Is that a beautiful episode in the Kathopanishad? When that Nachi Keta meets with Dharmaraj, Yamraj. And when Dharmaraj sees his quality is, huh? First he says, Vidya Bhipsinam Nachiketa Samman. I 
I am convinced that he is a real seeker of knowledge. Number one. And then he says, Vivrutam Sadmanachi Ketasam Manne. And for him, the gate to moksha is open already. Only he has to just enter. Huh. Mumuksha will come as we are living our life and when we feel, what kind of life is that? Is this? Huh? No, no, no. Now what is Viveka Adi? Huh. They say Viveka. Viveka is a faculty of our intellect to observe to analyze, to discriminate, to separate. That ability is called Vivek. As far as the spiritual world is concerned, that Vivek is that everything that what is seen here, everything that what I have gained also, uh, when I examine everything, uh, everything is only just flitting, you know. See, before we gain anything, we feel that is the be all, end all of life, you know, that's all. After gaining it, we feel, oh no, this is not. Uh, so, exam, before gaining, every time I thought, this is this, but no. Is that ending only? So everything is, this is called anitya. But there must be some nitya. There must be. But what is that nitya? That I don't know. Or I may feel, you know, sometimes because we have read some books and all that, so immediately, oh, Brahma is satyam nitya. But what is that Brahma? Oh, you are only saying some words. The feeling will be in Viveka that whatever I have experienced so far is only anitya and not satisfying. Before gaining, every time I thought, if I get this, everything will be complete. But after gaining it again, we find it's the same thing. This kind of Viveka gives rise to Vairagya, the second quality, Vairagya. So what is the use of running after the same thing again and again and again? Because more and more of the same thing, whether accumulation of same thing or indulgence in the same thing, the result will be the same, no? So now I have got this much money, now I have got more money, but uh, 1 plus 1 plus and how much plus, but again it will be limited thing only. So more and more of the same thing will not bring any qualitative change in my life. Quantitative will come. Huh? Because now I have thousands, and now I have got uh, lakhs and millions and then whatever numbers you are telling. Huh? So more and more of the same thing doesn't bring that. So I don't want more and more. I want something higher and higher, greater and greater something that, that will bring real completeness in my life. So I don't want all this. It's called vairagya, dispassion. Remember, this kind of vairagya is not dislike or hatred for any things or people or object or world. Is that? I am done with it. That's called the expression. I am done with it. Now, those who want others, they will go on anyway. Generally, we find in the spiritual world as Sikadi, Vairagya and Mumukshuta, they are not very strong. Then they have problems. But Vairagya and Mumukshuta is strong. Then that person, all the control over the mind senses also will be real. Otherwise, it will be superficial. 
So Viveka, Vairagya and Mumukshuta Vesha, three. But in between there is one. <laughs> it's called Shamadi Shat Sampatti. It's called Sampatti. Sampatti means wealth. Inner wealth of virtues. And you know, if these virtues are not there, even materialistic world also success will not be there. And even if one gets that success, it's not going to stay there. Therefore, whether anybody is a spiritual seeker or the seeker of success in the life, in different fields, these are very important. They are called six. First is the enumeration. Shamaha. Shamaha means what? Quietude of mind. We'll see more and more meaning of that. Sometimes it's called control over the mind. <laughs> the control word also, people don't like it. The moment you say, who are you to? Uh, therefore, I say quietude of mind. Or master you over mind. Ha, yes, bolo, master you over mind. Shama. Dama. Dama ha. That control over the senses. We will see what is the control meaning. Dama ha. If Shama and Dama are properly practiced, then the third virtue can call Uparati. Or called Uparamaha. Uparati means then withdrawal, the state of mind withdrawn from extrovert pursuit. Then this Uparati should be strengthened. Strengthened with what? Titiksha and Shraddha. Titiksha, the endurance. Of difficulties will come in life and all that. And Shraddha, Shraddha is the most important. Therefore, in this Subodh Vedanta, I have kept a separate topic for Shraddha. Because only Shraddha one Labhate Jnana. Shraddha one alone gains that knowledge. Therefore, I have kept it separate. Faith, faith. So, as a result of control over the mind and senses, the mind is withdrawn from outgoing tendencies, em empowered with titiksha hadda, then this mind becomes capable of absorption, called samadhan. About absorption in the studies, in the object of contemplation, that calls samadhan. So, Viveka, the what are the gunas? Viveka, Vairagya, Samadhi, Shat Sampatti, and Mumukshatra. The more and more one has all this, easier and easier will be for that person to gain this knowledge and abide in it. So, more of it we'll see till tomorrow and then. After Shisha, Guru Lakshana also. We'll see Guru Lakshana a separate topic. Hmm? Sri Krishna Govind Hare Murare. Sri Krishna Govind Hare Murare. Enathana Rayana Vasudeva. Shri Krishna Govind Hare Murare Shri Krishna Govind Hare Murare Shri Krishna Govind Hare Murare Hare Murare, 
हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की श्री सद्गुनाथ महाराज की ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम